And now, it's time for City City News, starring your anchors, Wiener Wanker and Sally Sue, Buddy with Sports, and Sparky with the Weather. Now, here's Wiener. Good evening. I'm Wiener Wanker. Sally is on assignment. For years now, the city of Cityopolis has suffered under the vigilante terrorism of self-styled superhero Night Night. However, his reign of terror may be coming to an end, as City City News has learned of a man who may know the secret whereabouts of Night Night's secret headquarters. In our exclusive interview with this witness, whom we will call Snitchy, we learned that Snitchy had been exposed to Night Night's infamous Nighty Night amnesia gas. He now believes he is regaining his stolen memories. It's still cloudy, but I remember a false wall sliding open. Uh, a neon sign saying, Night, and a Night Night's boot in my face. Snitcherson went on to say that he feels he may soon remember the location in full, and that this could... But, what? It said his name. His real name, and we're live! Oh, but, well, you dumped it, didn't you? Dump? Dump what now? The seven second delay, you idiots! Damn it! Snitcherson, eh? That must be Snitchy Snitcherson. A sleazy informant the cops often use to fry bigger fish. In fact, I do seem to recall beating the shit out of him last month, just outside the lair. Something about robbing Club Knight. Damn! You'd think the news would have used a better fake name than his real fake name. Once again, the media fails to outfox the Night Knight. Yeah, but one day, they're bound to catch you and lock you up for all the crimes you committed. Crimes? What do you mean? Well, you're not an authorized officer of the law, and hell, the property damage alone would be enough to send your ass up the river for years. <laughs> yeah, Night Knight! Shut up, boo-boo. Your opinion is irrelevant. I mean, you're not even human. Now is not the time to dwell on why I must operate above the law for the greater good. No. Now is the time to seek out this asshole and prevent him from revealing the location of the Night's Lair. To the Night Cruiser! No, oh, boy! And later on a seedy street in a seedy part of town. Hey, look, that's Creamy's, the old ice cream parlor. Not anymore, Bobo. No, it's just a trashy massage parlor. Huh, what kind of a snack is a massage? Hopefully you'll never know. Lord knows the world can't afford to have you bleeding. Well, I don't want to bleed either. No, stupid. I, wait, wait, look. There's Snitchy now, exiting the parlor, as I knew he would. How'd you know that? I called one of the girls who works there and asked if he was a regular, and she confirmed that indeed he was. Huh. How'd you know this girl? Uh, d d never mind. Let's go get him. As Night Night and Boobo run after Snitchy, he notices them and begins to run away from our masked marbles. Oh, citizen! That's, I, I, I mean criminal! I'm not a criminal! You are, if you're a threat to me! Suddenly... A black car pulls up in front of the fleeing Snitchy. Get in! Who are you? Just get in! Snitchy is then grabbed and pulled inside the mysterious vehicle, which then speeds away. Oh no, boo We've lost him. Damn, damn, damn. It's all your fault for being too vet to catch you. Shut up. Let's get back to the night cruiser. But then, Night Knight returns to his car to find it vandalized. Damn it! Not again! <laughs> Look! <laughs> they spray painted night nut and butthole on the door. <laughs> Stop laughing, you idiot. They're insulting us. No, yeah, they're just insulting you, night nut. <laughs> and just who do you think butthole is, butthole? What? Hey. Yes. It is a low livelihood that produced scoundrels such as these. But it's one scoundrel in particular we must find. We need Smedley to transmit night night satellite info to the cruiser to see if we can locate that car. Let's see, here's Smedley. <laughs> Who is that with you? It, is that the gardener? Yeah, she's just 
extended my vista. <laughs> you know, whatever. I need you to transmit satellite info to the cruiser. Pronto. Yeah, all right. That a boy, Smedley. Don't call me boy. Oh, right. All right. Oh, fart. And soon, armed with satellite intel, Night Night and Bubo rush off in hot pursuit of Snitchy and his mysterious captors. Meanwhile, in an old abandoned warehouse, we find Snitchy tied to a chair and surrounded by some menacing looking thugs of the Big Daddy Gang. I'm telling you, I, I just don't remember anything. Well, you'd better. And if you don't, we're gonna whoop the shit out of you. Boss, maybe we should hypnotize him. You know how to do that? Uh, nope. But since this old abandoned warehouse used to be the secret headquarters of Dr. Foe, we was looking through some of the junk he left behind and we found this here hypnotizer. Well, how do you know that thing's a hypnotizer? Cause it says hypnotizer on it. Okay, hook Snitchy up. Hey, wait a minute. You guys don't know what you're doing. That thing might electrocute me and fry my brain. It better not, because if it does, we're gonna whoop the shit out of you. And so Snitchy is indeed strapped into the strange hypnotizer contraption. All right, Snitchy, tell me where the night-night lair is. I, I, I'm on the sidewalk. Uh, above me is, is a neon sign saying night and a glowing crescent moon. Followed by another sign. It says, Club. Wait a minute. Is he describing Club Night? I don't know. Hey, Spiky Dude. You go to Club Night a lot. That sound like it? Yeah. Could be a coincidence. But I doubt Night Night would put a neon sign out in front of his secret hideout. I don't know. I've heard he's pretty stupid. Suddenly. The roar of the night cruiser's engines can be heard as it zooms from outside, smashing through the wall of the old abandoned warehouse. The group runs over several members of Big Daddy's gang while shoving other members into the piles of Dr. Ho's equipment. Oh shit! Night Night smashed Big Daddy into that Dr. Ho's shit! Worse than that, one of those containers was full of bees, and now they're out! Let's get the hell out of here! Hey, them crooks are getting away! Priorities, Bubo. It's Snitchy we want. There he is! What did you tell them, you cowardly scum? Ooh, he pooed himself, Night Night. Hmm. It appears that his device he strapped to fried his brain. Reducing him to a drooling vegetable. Looks like this machine was damaged by some sort of impact. Well, once again, victory belongs to the Night Knight. Yeah, well, let's get the hell out of here. Them bees are getting close. But as Night Knight and Bubo turn to leave, they hear a strange sound from within the piles of destroyed equipment and jump. <laughs> What the hell? What? Rising out of the debris stands what appears to be a hybrid of man and bees. I was big day, but now, thanks to those mutant bees and weird chemicals you threw me in, I am now... Bee Man! <laughs> My god! He's hideous! And, and what is that hanging from his ass? I think it's his stinger! I'm gonna kill you, Night Night! Now let's get in the car and haul ass, Bubo! Come on, come on! Oh shit, he's coming to sting us, Night Night! <laughs> shit! <laughs> run for your life! Soon, our panicked heroes run out into the night as far and as fast as their legs can carry them from the old abandoned warehouse. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> we... we need a hell of a taxi! In this part of town? <laughs> Forget it! Wait, wait! I know. We'll, we'll use the night bug repellent. Oh no, he's flying toward us! Hold your spray can steady, Bubo. Steady, steady. Now fire! Damn you, Night Night! Damn it! It's not working! Save your breath, Night Night. I've decided not to kill you outright. 
Okay, works for me. <laughs> yeah, me too! Listen, I intend to torture you slowly into your ultimate demise. <laughs> Shit! See? My new superior being intellect has revealed to me you must be Lyle Richmond, the owner of the Club Night Nightclub franchise. That's ridiculous. Boy, B-Man, you hit the nail on the head. Damn it, Pubo! <laughs> I'll hammer the nail on your head if you don't shut up! <laughs> I leave you to wait and wonder when the B-Man will start next. <laughs> Later, at the Knight's Lair, Night Knight contemplates his next move. Alright, I've looked up all the information my files had on this gangster Big Daddy. My guess is, is that B-Man will most likely be staying at Big Daddy's last known address. So that's where we'll get him. What are you gonna do? Use the electrified netting to trap him? No, Smedley, he's too dangerous. Since he knows my real name, therefore I must resort to the last resort and use lethal force. What? Just because he knows your name, he gets the death penalty? Well, he was a gangster, so I'm sure he's guilty of something horrible. And anyway, he's now a hideous monster. Yeah, he's butt ugly. Screw him. To the night, Cruiser Boo Boo. No, oh, boy. And soon, outside the apartment building of B-Man, the night cruiser pulls up to a stop. All right, Boo Boo, well, let's go for it. Ready? Remember, stealth is of the essence, so we must be as quiet as possible so as not to lose the element of surprise. Now, I'll just fire the cable gun. And, uh, and up we go. Slowly but surely, night night and boobo scale several stories up to the window of B-Man's apartment. Okay, boobo, hand me the night class cutter. Okie dokie. Quiet, Bobo. We well, don't want him to hear us. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's push the glass through. But don't drop it. Damn it, Bobo! Oops. Stupid. Alright. Obviously, no alarms. Now keep your eyes peeled and be ready for B Man. Hey, here's some money in a briefcase. Yeah? Okay, take it. Um... Hey! That's the price you pay for messing with the nightmare. Wait, I hear something. I can't hear nothing over the noise of that shower. Good lord, Bobo. It's B-Man, taking a shower. Huh? <laughs> Look, his little stinger is wiggling. <laughs> Quick, let's douse the living room in gasoline and set this place ablaze with him in it. The night night. What about the neighbors? Uh, well, uh, well, we can call the fire department when we get downstairs and, you know, hope for the best. I don't know. Obviously you don't. That's why I do the thinking. What the hell's going on in here? Oh, too late! Damn! Ah, B-Man! Couldn't you have had the decency of putting a towel around your waist? Oh, somebody's naked. What? Damn it! Once I get my drawers on, I'm gonna whoop the shit out of both of you. Let's all ask, Bobo. Hey, he's already gaining on us. Watch out for his stinger, Bobo. Ah! Oh no, Bobo got stung. Help me, Night Night. I can't run. My legs feel rubbery. Sorry, Bobo. I mean, it's been nice knowing you. Hey, what's all the going hey, on? What? I don't know. What's going what's on? What's all the noise? Hey. Is that oh night night? Get back to your room, room, citizens. Yeah, this that's is that's official that's night night business. You here. better hide till it out of here, night night, because I got a shotgun pointed at your ass. What the hell is that? Give me that. Whoa, you shot him, night night. Yes, Pooh Boo. My plan worked perfectly once again. Really? Hey. Give me my gun back. Back off, asshole. Uh, 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 <coughs> uh, uh, I, I don't remember anything. Damn, Night Night. Why'd you do that? He was being aggressive, and besides, with his memory wiped by the Nighty Night amnesia gas, he won't be able to explain himself laying next to the dead B-Man with his gun having killed him. 
So if the police pursue a murder case over this uh, monstrosity, we'll be in the clear. <laughs> I guess you think of everything. Always. Well, can we get some ice from one of the tenants here before we go? What for? Well, since B-Man stung my ass, my right cheek is swollen to Kardashian size. Thus ends another amazing adventure of Night Night. Be sure to tune in next week for another exciting thriller starring Night Night. And now it's time for City City News with your anchors, Wiener Wanker and Sally Sue. Sparky with the weather and Buddy with sports. And now. Here's Wiener. Hello, I'm Wiener One Care. Sally is on assignment. Cityopolis Mayor Mayor has decided enough is enough with Night Night. So, enough is enough with Night Night. After Night Night barged in on last week's skyjacking disaster, the mayor has ordered Police Commissioner Wetman to form a special task force to bring the wayward costume vigilante in. This is why God invented the mute button. Damn it, Smedley. The mayor is turning the whole city against me. You've been doing a good job of that yourself. <laughs> I need a publicity stunt that'll make me look good and change the media narrative. Well, I don't think God does publicity stunts, and he's the only one I know who can perform a miracle like making you look good. All right, Smedley. That's enough smartassery out of you. Don't you have some nightclub business to tend to? That's what I was doing when you called me down here to show you again how to get your TV news up on the big screen. Yeah, well, whatever. Boobo, get your ass in here. Hey, night, night. Get on the night computer. We're to search our rogues gallery files to see which villain is currently active. And then we're going to take them down. Well, what about the mosquito? What about him? Well, he's old up in city hospital with hostages and is uh, in a standoff with the police. What? what? Where'd you hear this? On the news. Look, it's still on, but it looks like some dumbass muted the TV. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. Come on, Bubo. We haven't a moment to lose. To the night cruiser! Oh boy! And soon our masked marvels are off and arriving mere moments later at City Hospital. I'll park the car out of sight of the scene of action, lest we lose the element of surprise with the mosquito. Ah, cool! There's Toys R Us! No, Bobo! We can't be seen! Otherwise, some idiot might yell out, Hey, look! It's night oh, night! damn it! And several stories up where the mosquito gang are holding several patients and hospital staff hostage. Yeah, what's that I hear? Is night night down there? You better show yourself, Mass Marvel. Uh, I'll start killing these people. Uh... No, no, boo boo. Your clumsiness ruined everything. I didn't do shit. Exactly. Huh? Give me that bullhorn, officer. What? No way, Night Night. You're a wanted man yourself, so. No! Oh! <laughs> night Night hit me. You're under arrest, Night Night. Hey, look, it's Night Night attacking Sergeant Salty. Let's go get him. But then, Night Knight releases one of his Nighty Night gas bombs, knocking out the gathered team of officers, leaving the hostage standoff in his gloved hands. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I have the bullhorn. <clears throat> you up there! This is Night Knight. Release those hostages and come out with your hands up. Yeah, shut up, Night Knight. Make the demands, not you. All right, mosquito. What do you want? Nah, I want two million cash. Yeah, fast car and a filled up jet at the airport to take me and my gang out of here. Yeah, uh, 
That could take time to arrange, Mosquito. Uh, you have 60 minutes. Uh... Impossible. I need at least one hour. Uh, all right. You, you got one hour. After that, I'll start wasting some sheep. Sheep? I thought he was holding people. What are we wasting our time on livestock for? Shut up, Bull. Don't you see? The solution is staring us right in the face. Huh? All I see are the passed out cops we just gassed. Exactly, Bubo. Using my night jetpack, I'm going to fly up there and toss a nighty night gas bomb through the hospital window, knocking out the mosquito gang. Oh, night night. Don't do it. Uh oh. Some of the cops are waking up. Then there's no time to lose. And with his jetpack strapped on, the Night Knight lifts up into the air and within seconds is suddenly face to face with the Mosquito Game. Most is Night Knight. Yeah, what? Eat my gas, Mosquito. Unfortunately, Night Knight didn't account for the oxygen tanks in the hospital, which are instantly ignited, causing a far more destructive explosion than he intended. As a result, the entire east wing of City Hospital is now a destroyed ruin. Within minutes, an angry crowd gathers around the rubble. My God! Look at what that idiot Night Knight did! Search the rubble! Uh if we find him, we'll kick his ass! Where's Bubo? He ran off in their night night yeah, car. Over there! It's night night! Suddenly, a woozy night night finds himself surrounded by an angry oh. mob. Oh. oh, shit! Wait, I've still got my jetpack. Firing up his jetpack. Once again, night night soars up into the sky, escaping his dilemma. But his rocket fire engulfs some of the mob in flames. Ungrateful bastards! Hmm. Looks like the hospital took a lot of damage. Of course, I get the blame when it's clearly all Mosquito's fault. Wait, why is it so quiet up here? Oh no! The jetpack shut off! I, I'm falling! <laughs> Meanwhile, Bubo is safe and sound inside the night cruiser, racing home to the night's lair. Phew. That was a close one. Those assholes looked pretty pissed off. <laughs> it's a good thing I got out of there when I did. But damn it, I got this gnawing feeling that I forgot something. <laughs> oh god, the cruiser broke my fall. What the hell? Oh shit, Bubo, get the wheel, get the wheel. <coughs> god damn it, Bubo. <laughs> How was I supposed to know your fat ass was gonna fall on me? You useless sack of shit! I oughta... Great bug bites! Look! It's the mosquito! What? Where? There! Across the street! Good lord, Bobo. It is him. He's trying to carjack that woman's car. Let's go save her. Alright! Oh no! No! Not my car! Ooh. Yeah, shut up, bitch! We're taking your car whether you like it or not. Yeah. Leave that woman alone, Mosquito. Yeah, well, it's the best squire. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it right there, Mosquito. Yeah, night night too. Yeah, you sure made a mess of that hospital, night nut. Yeah. <sighs> Shut up, Mosquito. I'm going to finish you once and for all. Yeah, I don't think so, night night. Because now yeah, it's your turn to eat my gas. Yeah. Suddenly, the mosquito pulls out a gas gun, spraying both Night Night and Bubo in an inky cloud of green <coughs> gas. <coughs> hey, boys. Yeah, what? We got a van over here, Stalin. Yeah, all right, let's go. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, Bubo! <coughs> Mosquito's getting away. <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to commandeer this car. What? No, not my car. Look, ma'am, I'm sorry, but this is official night-night business, and, uh, um, uh, damn, Bubo, 
I don't know what was in that mosquito gas, but it's it's making my guts feel sick. Uh, okay, let's go. Ooh, how dare you? Shut up, Boobo, and get your ass in the car. No, no, not my car. Let's haul ass. And our heroes are off after the Mosquito Gang in their stolen car. Oh, Boobo, that mosquito gas is still doing a number on me. Ah, <coughs> uh, boo! Yeah, you know what? It's doing a number two on you. No, oh, man. Uh, uh, uh-oh. I think that gas may have had an effect on me, too. What do you mean? Ah, uh, sorry I asked. Wait, the mosquito's running that red light. That foul flapping fiend. Yeah, whatever. Shut up, Bubo. Damn. I wish we had the cruiser. We could launch a night night missile at him. <laughs> oh, oops. Well, maybe I just did. <coughs> yeah, you sure did. <laughs> Damn it. I wonder if any of this shit had any effect on the mosquito gang. Definitely affecting me. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Mosquito Gang's van, boss, your gas gun's leaking. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! <coughs> oh! Ah! We're losing control of the van. Ah! Ah! Cut that shit out, or I'll throw your ass out of the window. But Buzz is the gas gun. Man, that can't be. I mixed the chemicals myself. What the hell's going on? Mosquitoes driving that van like a maniac. I don't know. It's a wonder they haven't hit somebody. Hey, look. They're opening up the back doors. What? And back in the mosquitoes' van. No, balls. Don't throw me out. Nah, I can't stand the smell. That shit's deadly to a nose like mine. Ah, throw him out! Uh-oh, here comes another one, Bobo. <coughs> what was that? He just ran over one of the henchmen. They threw him out of the van. What the hell? Oh, well. You killed that man, night night. Hey! A fitting end for his kind. He joined the Mosquito Gang, so he knew what he was getting himself into. <coughs> ah, Bobo! Phew! Making a stink in here! Ah, <coughs> Damn! Roll down the windows. Meanwhile, back in the mosquito's van, much of the same scene is happening. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Stop fighting on this bus. Yeah, damn! Look, just throw the damn thing out of here. Ah. All right, all right, roll down the window. Ah. Uh, we got rid of the gun, but the gas is still with us. Uh. Uh, yeah. The the effects could last for days. Uh, oh, oh, no. no. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I must have got the mixture wrong. Uh, okay, Bobo. Prepare to ram that van in the side. Okay, what? Hey, where'd they go? I, I don't know. They were... Oh, shit, they're behind us. We <coughs> <coughs> made it, Bobo. Yeah, but... Uh, I'm still shitty. In more ways than one. Huh, you're one to talk. Look, Bobo. The mosquito and his men survived as well. We'll have to fight them all. Yeah, it's three against two, Night Night. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. Guess again, mosquito. I'm going to kick your ass till I'm smelling shit. <coughs> We're already smelling shit. Shut up, Bobo. Now let's get this over with. <coughs> Take that, mosquito! Ah! Right back at ya! No! Hey, there goes the little shit boobo! Yeah, let's go get him! Get a load of this! Ah! Ooh. <sighs> it's all over, mosquito! Yeah, yeah! Uh, bite this, night night! Uh. Ah! <coughs> yeah, you like them apples, night night! Yeah. How about a knuckle sandwich, mosquito? Ah! Have an upper cold cut on me, night night. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Boo! Meanwhile, Boobo has still managed to elude the mosquito's henchmen. Where'd that little shit go? Keep your eyes peeled. He's got to be around here somewhere. Look, over there. Yeah, I got him in my sights. Oh no, feels like a wet one. <laughs> Whoa, them henchmen accidentally shot each other. <laughs> the fart's mightier than the sword. You're in a dead end alley, mosquito. It's all over. Uh, keep back. <coughs> night night. I think the farts are getting to him. Well, they're getting to me too. <coughs> ah, stop it! <coughs> <coughs> what? What the hell was in that shit? Uh, I don't know. It was just supposed to knock you out, but I must have got the mixture wrong. <coughs> Be there no end to your <coughs> indecency? Uh, yeah! Uh, no! <laughs> Please! <coughs> ah! Oh. Uh, ah! He passed out! Yes, he just couldn't handle a dose of his own medicine. Let's cuff him and leave him here for the police. And so our heroes head back to the Knight's Lair on foot. No one gives them any trouble as their flatulent cloud keeps onlookers at bay. Meanwhile, across town at a local come-and-go convenience store, evil is brewing. Okay, that'll be twelve ninety-five. Thanks, but I won't be paying you anything. What? What do you mean? I mean you're going to give all the money in your register and safe to me, or I'm going to fill you full of lead. Oh my God! I'm Lyle. Lyle Richmond. Now give me the cash, bitch. And soon, as the sinister character who looks exactly like Lyle Richmond, who is in reality Night Night, leaves the store, he quickly darts into a nearby alley where he undergoes a startling transformation, revealing that he is a she. Yes, that mischievous mistress of disguise, Maiden Mud. Let's see how a pampered puss like Richmond likes it when the law turns on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the night's lair... <clears throat> My god. Bubo, the effects of Mosquito's gas seem to show no sign of dissipating anytime soon. Hey, Smidley. <clears throat> Damn, boy. What kind of greeting is that? <laughs> Leave Smidley alone, Bubo. What's the matter with y'all? <clears throat> Oh man, you too? I'm going back upstairs. Yes, for your own sakes, Smidley, you'd best stay away. We've been horribly affected by the mosquito's gas. Yeah, whatever. I damn sure don't want to be affected by your gas. <sighs> We've got to come up with some sort of antidote to this nimbus nastiness. Oh, oh, I just can't stand it. It's it's filling up the whole night's lair. <laughs> oh, keep away from me, Boo-Boo. Oh. <laughs> you keep away from me, Mr. Tootie Booty. Night, 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 night. Keep away, Smedley. We stink. Yeah, no. Oh, man. Look, there's some people upstairs here to see you. Well, tell them to go away. I can't see anyone in this condition. But it's the police. They want to see Lyle Richmond. They say it's urgent. Uh-oh. Wonder what they want. I don't know. I'm going to change and head up there and see what this crap's all about. You stay down here and... And fart? That seems to be all I can do. Yeah, apparently. Uh, oh. oh, man. I hope I can hold it until I'm done with them. And once upstairs, Lyle Richmond finds a detective and several police officers waiting for him. Uh, officers, uh... What can I do for you? Mr. Richmond, we... Mr. Richmond? Uh, I'm sorry, I... I'm, uh, I, I'm ill. Um, I see. We have a warrant for your arrest. What? <laughs> My arrest? For what? Um, for armed robbery. You've been seen on security cam footage from a come-and-go store robbing it at gunpoint. <laughs> That's ridiculous! <coughs> <coughs> Uh, maybe we should discuss this outside. Uh, yeah, okay. The evidence against you, um, is pretty thick, Mr. Richmond. 
you're going to have to come with us. Ugh. I, I, I understand, Detective. We are required to cuff you, so I'm going to need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of <laughs> law. You have the right to an attorney. <laughs> you know, on second thought, I think I'll just cuff you in front. Um, yeah, l listen. M may I talk to Smedley here for a minute? All right. <laughs> just, just make it quick. Smedley, call my lawyer and tell him the situation and try and find out what the hell this is all about me robbing a store. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Right this way to the squad car, Mr. Richmond. Uh, okay. Sergeant. Yes, sir? Make sure you roll down the windows. Right. Cityopolis Court. Order, order, order in this here court. The defendant will rise. Mr. Rich Man, do you understand the charges against you? Uh, yes. Yes, Your Honor, I do, but no, no. How do you plead? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Well, what the hell? Uh, I'm sorry. The, the pressure, uh, it's too much. I, uh, I can't take it. All right, all right. Uh, Your Honor, my client pleads not guilty. All right. I'll set a date for the child. Wait, wait, what? Who are you? Uh, I'm the manager of Club Night. Uh, Your Honor, I, 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 I believe uh, Mr. Smedley here uh, has evidence that may be exculpatory for Mr. Richmond. Well, all right, let's see what it is. You got the tape? Yeah, in a solid. You know you paid off, man? Tape? <laughs> what tape? Hang on, Lyle. Uh, Your Honor, we have security cam footage from a neighboring pawn shop that will exonerate my client. Okay. Please. All right. Now, uh, okay, he here we see the suspect, who does indeed resemble Lyle Richmond. But as we zoom in, we can see that his ears appear to be dripping off. Ooh, that's gross. Yes, yes, it is gross for a normal human being. But this person isn't normal. It's actually Maiden Mud, the notorious supervillain known for her ability to assume the appearance of anyone she sees. Well, all right, I guess I'll have to drop the charge. Hey, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, what? hold on. Who are you? Uh, I, I, I was an eyewitness, and I saw this Maiden Mud lady turn into Lyle Richman. Well, with eyewitness testimony and video evidence... I move that all charges against Lyle Rich Man be dropped. Defendant is free to go. I dare we can break for an early lunch. Let's call in some Chinese. Hold on, Your Honor. The defendant for the next case is here. What? You know, the people versus the mosquito. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, just outside the courtroom, a liberated Lyle Rich Man talks with Smedley. Boy, Smedley, thank God for that tape. It really saved my ass. Yeah, and then that, uh, that mysterious eyewitness. Oh, yeah, well, Hey, well. hey, Mr. Richman. Well, here he comes now. You know, you owe that man thinking. Well, hey, man, I did my part, so where's my ten grand? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you before in my life. Besides, I don't need you. The security can't prove my innocence. What? You asshole! You better pay up, or I'll squeal. You do, and you'll go to jail for perjury. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, just like a rich bastard shitting on the little guy. Yeah, well, it sucks to be you, pal. Well, let's go, Smedley. Oh, man. Meanwhile, back in the courtroom. <laughs> All right, Mosquito, how do you please? Oh, no! Not again! A week later, Lyle Richman and Dick Sprung 
who are in reality Night Night and Bubo, finally recover from the gastric symptoms of the mosquito's toxic gas. Boy, Lyle, I wiped my ass so many times, I rubbed my asshole raw. Oh, damn it, Dick. Keep your disgusting details to yourself. Let's just forget that whole incident and put it behind us. Amen to that, Pooh-wee. All right, Smedley, that's enough out of you. Meanwhile, across town, evil is still brewing. At the Family Jewels Jewelry Store, the clerk is about to lock up when... What the hell? What? Suddenly, the clerk is overcome by a sudden sensation of pure panic as gas bombs continue to be thrown through the store window. And the source of said gas bombs is none other than the Boogeyman and his gang. Damn, boss. Tossing gas bombs is fun. <laughs> yes, well, that's enough, Penny. He's succumbing to my fear toxin. Now, quickly, Danny. You and the others fill your bags with the jewels. Okay, boss. <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look at him squirm. <laughs> Put off to the boss. Yes, take everything and hurry. Damn, boss. Just how scared is this guy gonna get? If only we had the time to stay and observe just how scared this little pisshead could get. There's the answer. You scared the shit out of him. Yes, well, <coughs> the fear toxin does have its drawbacks. <coughs> His guts are coming out. Let's get that out of here. And now it's time for City City News. With your anchor, Wiener Wanker, and co anchor, Sally Sue. Buddy with sports, and Sparky with the weather. And now, here's Wiener. Hello? I'm Wiener One Care. A um, man was found dead today. <laughs> We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <clears throat> A Cityopolis jewelry store clerk was found dead today. I'm Wanir Wankir. And I'm Sally Sue. Wiener, the medical examiner's autopsy report found that the deceased died from excessive defecation. Sally... Do you mean to say he pooped himself to death? That's right, Wiener. Earlier, our man in the field, Holden Cox, was able to interview a man who had discovered the body. We must warn you, the language in this report is very strong. Ah, uh, sir, I understand that you were the first to see the body. Yeah, I walked into the jewelry store and found him laying in a pile of shit. Well, uh, uh, in your best judgment, what do you think happened to him? Uh, I think he shit himself to death. Uh, well, uh, this is Holden Cox, City City News. Thanks, Holden. Further details of the autopsy report revealed trace amounts of the fear toxin commonly used by infamous supervillain, the Boogeyman. Sally? Wiener, a new study shows some Americans hang out at Walmart when they're feeling overweight so that they can feel attractive by comparison to the typical morbidly obese Walmart shopper. Damn it, Smedley. Why didn't the commissioner inform me of the return of Boogeyman? Because he figured your involvement would only make it worse. And probably get people killed. People are already getting killed, Smitley. Without any help from me. No, clearly I am needed. I need to be out there to put a stop to that madman. Well, that was Dick. 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 Here I am, Night Night. Dick, we need to... Wait a minute. Damn it, Dick. Don't call me Night Night. When I'm in my everyday guise of liar, rich man. Otherwise, people will put two and two together. Ain't nobody around. Shut up. You never know when there might be visitors here, Boo Boo. No! No, no, no. No, no, no. Shut up! Shut up! I don't want to talk about this anymore. 
We need to become Night Knight and Boobo because the Boogeyman is back in town again. To the Night's Lair! Oh boy! And in the Night's Lair! I've managed to hack into the NSA's computer so that we can search for possible locations of the Boogeyman's current headquarters. But Night Knight, that sounds illegal! Not for superheroes, which of course, I am one. Uh Every time you do something wrong, you got an excuse. When I do something wrong, it's just wrong. Yeah, like what, Boobo? What? What is it that you do? Well, uh, like the time I borrowed the Rolls Royce without telling you. That's hardly a comparison to the Night Crusade, Boobo. Well, that was for the Boobo Crusade. No, it was part of the Little Dick Crusade in a vain attempt to impress your <laughs> shitty little friends who already know what a pathetic little worm you are. Ah, uh, shut up! Now, let's see what this program has come up with. Hmm. According to this printout, these locations are all possible hideouts for Boogeyman. Oh, damn, there must be a hundred of them on there! I have a system, Bobo, that will decipher. Yeah, I know your system! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Get you shut up, Bobo! Smitley might hear you. This never stopped you before. Shut up! Uh, get your ass in the car! Yeah, Lee, yeah, everything I do is wrong! You just damn it, Bobo! Quit your bitching! Jeez. <laughs> now, let's see, um. um uh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch up. There, that'll do. And so, our heroes patrol the streets in search of. Boogeyman! <sighs> Bubo, turn that shit down. The night night, I just heard a report about a riot at the mall. A bunch of people just started panicking like crazy. Must be the Boogeyman. No, Bubo. It's probably just a bunch of idiots on acid or something. The mall isn't even on the list of possible locales. Don't get distracted by media hype. Stick to the system. My system. And so our mass marvels stake out an abandoned warehouse that Night Night suspects of being the Boogeyman's hideout. This is stupid, Night Night. He ain't gonna show up. Patience, Lobo. That is a necessary trait of a true detective. Otherwise, you miss important details. You're missing the important detail of him not being here. Bubo, your constant mockery of me damages the effectiveness of our team. You're damaging the case by wasting time sitting in the wrong place. Damn it! That has nothing to do with my point about teamwork. You're changing the subject. No, you are! Your distracting nonsense has cost us precious time. We're clearly in the wrong place, you idiot! And so, Night Night and Boobo drive off to get another possible boogeyman hideout. But on the way, they run into a crazy mob pouring out of the mall. <laughs> what the hell? Hey! Get out of the streets, you assholes! Nay, nay! That's the people the radio was talking about! No, Bobo. These are just more sucks of shit. We have a problem with my superior intellect. Meanwhile, inside the mall... Look, boss! It's night night! The fool! He doesn't even seem to know we're here! Well, in the meantime, he should make an excellent distraction for the police, as we make good our escape. Later, after spending hours searching empty warehouses, the masked marvels finally return home. Hey, hey, you're finally home. How come y'all didn't stop the boogeyman? What are you talking about, Smedley? We never even saw the boogeyman all night. Oh, man. He attacked the mall. It was on the news. I saw them people freaking out, but the night cruiser just passed on by. I told you, night night. Nah, how's up, Bobo? You didn't tell me shit. You merely suspected, and suspicion alone is not enough. You need cold, hard facts. You call that stupid list of warehouses facts? Don't doubt my system, Bubo. It can't go wrong. Well, it did tonight. No, Bubo. It's possible. Boogeyman was using some of those buildings, but had left before we got there. He's too smart to stay at one place for long. But Mr. Lyle, them screaming people, I mean... That's got Boogeyman written all over it. You could have had him right there. Shut up, Smedley. You're denouncing me in front of the boy. Boy? 
He's 23. Yeah. Well, look, get back to the club and leave the crime fighting to me. All right, Bubo. Let's look at what happened here. Somehow, some way, Boogeyman managed to dupe us. He duped you, not me. If you had listened... If I had listened to you, we would have uh, drained the car battery listening to the radio. But you know what? Where do you think the Boogeyman is, Bubo? Come on, smarty pants. Where is he? Well, I... I, I don't know. Exactly. You don't know. Pfft, idiot. Now, I think it's time we paid a little visit to our old friend Whitman and ask him why he didn't bother to inform me of Boogeyman's current crime wave. Also, I may need to remind him of the evidence I have of his infidelity. That'll go to his wife if he doesn't cooperate. Manene, that's wrong! <sighs> He's the commissioner of the police department! Boo boo! How many times must I remind you that the Night Night Crusade is paramount? If I didn't blackmail Wetman, he'd have the entire city police force after us, you idiot. Besides, if he was the fine, upstanding man you seem to think he is, he wouldn't have cheated on his wife. Now let's go. And at Commissioner Wetman's office. Sarah, hold calls and visits. I need to concentrate on this boogeyman case. Yes, sir. <sighs> what a mess. At least four dead from heart attacks thanks to the boogeyman's fear gas. Well, thank, thank God Night Night just drove on by. The last thing we need is that idiot barging in on this. Meanwhile, a block away! What are we stopping here for? Wet One's office is a block away! Well, clearly our relationship with Wet One has become rather volatile. I can't trust him to give us any information up front, so we need to employ a little espionage. I used to just bug his office, but he'd always find them. Ah, hush up! Now, here's the plan. We're going to climb this building, then cross over and access Wetwin's office through his office skylight. Oh, whoops! Went right into the window of that room and hooked to the ceiling. Hey, oh, well. Who the hell shot this shit through my window? Uh oh! Quick, Bubo! Shoot him with a tranquilizer dart. Ah! Tagged him, Night Night. Huh? But he's kind of hanging out of his window. Well, we better push him back inside when we get up there. No, he'll be all right, Bubo. Let's go. And so our heroes do indeed scale the wall, and then hop over to City Hall, and then reach the skylight overlooking Wet One's office. Okay, Bobo, here's the deal. I'm going to use my high-powered mic to listen in on Wet One's conversation, while you use your camera to zoom in on any paperwork Wet One or other officers might be reading. Got that? Okay, Night Night. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Careful, Bobo. We don't want to occupy too much of the same space on this skylight. What do you mean? Well, our combined weight could break through the glass. And, well, I've noticed you've been packing away quite a few Twinkies here lately. Shit! All right, like I'm the fat one. Yeah, look at that gut! Wait, what's that noise? Oh, no, it's breaking! What? Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no. What the hell? <laughs> Night Night and Bubo? Uh, uh, oh, damn it, Commissioner. That filing cabinet collided with me. I could have been seriously injured. What the hell are you doing, Night Night? You, you, you bastard! Hey! Don't take that tone of voice with me. Sir, what's going on in here? You all right? Yeah, just, just wait outside. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this, this, whatever it is. Uh, okay, sir. <sighs> all right, Night Night. What is this all about? We need information. I was just going to clandestinely monitor your office, but damn it, night night, spying on me is illegal. You know, I found another crescent-shaped bug the other day, none of which would be necessary if you'd only cooperate. Come on, Commissioner. You know that I am the solution to this boogeyman case. Oh, yeah? You had a shot at catching him yesterday. Explain that. Well, with a uh, panic erupting, I thought it was wise to err on the side of caution, out of concern for public safety. What? Really? You... You finally took the civilian population into account? No! I told him it was the boogeyman! No, no! But he Shut up, Bubo! Yeah, just as I suspected. Another dumbass move. Listen, I don't want you anywhere near this case, Night Night. Boogeyman's too dangerous. Yeah, Commissioner. We spent the whole day Bubo. hanging around warehouses. 
but I told him about the panic at the mall, but he refused to believe wait, me. Wait, wait, I what's mean, this? I figured, a yeah, secret well, file on the boogeyman. Did, yeah, Boobo, I don't care. Now, why don't you just get your little ass out of here? Yeah. Boobo, the commissioner is a busy man, so leave him alone. Let's go. We'll take your advice, by the one, and stay out of this case until you say otherwise. What? Wait a minute. What's that stuff in the back of your night-night panties? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Boobo. Hey! That looks like one of my files. Stop right there, night-night! Quick, Boobo. Out this window. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, we nearly busted our asses. Never mind that, Boobo. To the night... Oh, shit, I forgot. The night cruiser's a block away. And eh, we're gonna have to run for it. Okay, let's go. Come on, night night. Hurry up, come on, night night. <laughs> Wait. Damn you. Come on, night night. Get the lid out. Damn you, Boo-Boo. You wait up for me. Don't you take off like that. Uh, what the hell? Who's this idiot? Hey. It's that guy I tagged earlier with the nighty night dart. What? No, he must be a crazy jumper. No, remember? He was hanging outside his window while we climbed up his building's wall. Uh, no, no, oh shit, let's get, let's get what? going, he's waking up. What happened? Huh? Let's hey. go, Bobo. Night night! Hey, come back here, you assholes! I'm gonna sue you! Yeah, get in line, pal. But never that guy. It's just dumb luck he landed on this when he stupidly fell out of his window. Otherwise, he could have busted his ass. But it's our fault for putting him in that situation. No, you mean it's your fault. You're the one who put a tranquilizer dart in him. But you told me to! No, boo <laughs> Well, what do we do now, Night Night? Well, from this file I managed to get from Wetman's office, we can now find property that belongs to Professor Shitsless. That's where we'll go next. Well, who the hell is Professor Shitsless? Damn it, Boo! That's Boogeyman's real name. Well, I just, I just thought he was always Boogeyman. <laughs> Boo! Come on! Is your name really Boo? No! Damn it! God. When we get through with this case, you need to go back to the Knight's Lair and get on the Knight computer and study up on the files of our Rogues Gallery. No! I don't want to do that. Well, you need to. Meanwhile, at the Boogeyman's hideout. Yes, Tiny. Now I have a tank containing several tons of my fear toxin, ready to be released on the entire city. <laughs> but, boss, you wasted all of our loot on more of this chemical shit. You fool, I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this for the pursuit of my experiments in fear. You gotta be shitting me, right? I shit you not, I... Wait, what's that noise? And at that moment, the night cruiser smashes through the wall of Boogeyman's hideout. Yeehaw, night night. You crashed right into Boogeyman's house. Yeah, no shit, Lulo. It's all over, Boogeyman. Give it up. Curse you, Night-Night. You, you... Oh, oh no! Do, do you realize what you've done? Yes, I've captured you, that's what. No, you idiot! Your ridiculous night car just smashed open my giant tank of fear gas and... and we're, we're all breathing it in! We're all going to freak out! What? Oh no! Mubo, quick! Get gas masks! Mubo! Mubo, what are you doing? Get back here, you little... <laughs> and so, Night Night, Boobo, and the Boogeyman gang succumb to the effects of Boogeyman's fear gas and run out into the streets, screaming in sheer panic. As they do, onlookers react to this bizarre scene. <laughs> <laughs> But then, the fear toxin reaches the crowd as well. <laughs> but, unbeknownst to Night Knight, the police had a SWAT team about to charge in on Boogeyman when Night Knight crashed in, releasing the fear gas, which now reaches said SWAT team. Ah, shit! The police are gonna kill us, Night Knight! Must get inside, Night Cruiser! Here, we will take this 
Anti-fear toxin, night-night capsule. I can't swallow pills. Don't argue with me, damn it! Shove it down! <laughs> oh, yeah. Now let's haul ass. <laughs> this shit tastes nasty. Get out of the way, you piss ants! Yeah, look out! <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh well. Watch out where you're going, dumbass. And so, our masked marvels escape the chaos of screams and bullets. But little do they know, they have an uninvited guest hiding in the backseat of the night cruiser. <coughs> What's the matter, Bubo? <coughs> Those pills. <coughs> they were chalky, and they burned my throat. I need water. We'll get water at the night's lair. <coughs> no, I need water now. Oh, oh I... I think I'm gonna throw up! Not in here, you're not! Uh, okay, I'll throw up in the back seat! What? No! Uh, damn you, Boo Boo! <coughs> what? Oh no! It's the Boogeyman! What? What are you doing here, Boogeyman? And how come the fear toxin is no longer affecting you? Because, Night Knight, I too have an antidote. Now pull over! I'm taking over this car! <laughs> what makes you think I'll do that? This gun pointed at your ass! Oh no! Damn, Night Night, why'd you do that? Shut up, Boo Boo. Shut up, the both of you. I still have the gun. Oh shit! Yes, that car crash move was a waste of time, Night Night. No matter how bold it was. What? Alright. I mean, yes. I'll stop at nothing to stop you, Boogeyman. The bullets in this gun say otherwise. Now, Boo Boo! Hand over your utility belt and weapon satchel. Uh, okay. And now you, Night Knight. Hand over your utility belt. Um, uh... Come on, dammit! I don't have all D! Uh, look, listen. Uh, I'll just empty out all the compartments and, uh, give you my weapons and equipment. Uh, that way I can keep the belt on. What? Quit playing around, Night Knight, and give me the belt! Uh, uh, all right, all right. Oh, jeez. Uh. Uh. There you go. There, now I... Good lord. Night Night, you've really let yourself go. I mean, just look at that gut. Hey, come on. That's always been there. Shut up, Boobo. Pathetic, Night Night. A man like you shouldn't be caught dead in tights. But that's exactly what's going to happen. What? Both of you, get down on your knees. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to kill the both of you. Stop your whimpering. <laughs> Even without fear toxin, I can instill fear into the masked marvels of Cineopolis. <laughs> Listen, Boogeyman, you, you you don't have to do this. We, we, we won't tell anyone that you got away. We'll, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just forget the whole thing. <laughs> no deals, Night Night. Now watch as I blow Boobo's fruity head off his shoulders. <laughs> ah, it's all over my gun. Uh, quick, Bobo. Get his gun. No, no, get damn it. No. Uh, damn it. Lost my gun down that drain. Well, I'm still more than a match for you two freaks. We'll see about that. Get him, Bobo. I'm too sick to fight night night. No, blow. No, 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 Well, so much for your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, night night. No, oh, this can't be the end. Seems that tender night belly provided me with a rather large target. <laughs> he means you're fat, night night. Shut up, boo How could I have ever thought that a weak and flabby sack of shit like you could ever be a true opponent for the Boogeyman? Well, you forget one thing, Boogeyman. What's that? That we're on the side of a busy highway. And so I need only kick you into the oncoming traffic. What? Ah! What the hell? I think you hit somebody. Oh, shit. Relax, citizens. That was just a silly prop for, um, a uh, costume party. You two can be on your way. Oh. Well, all right. Great grease guts, Night Night. They must have broke every bone in Boogeyman's body. Serves him right, Bobo. Let's go. Night Night, aren't we going to pull Boogeyman out of that ditch? 
Do I look like the sanitation department? Screw him. Let's all ass. Later at the Knight's Lair, Night Knight watches the news. And still no word on the whereabouts of supervillain Boogeyman, whom police hold completely responsible for the worst massacre in Cityopolis history. That's the news. I'm Wanir One Care. Good night. Switch the Power Rangers. No, oh, damn it, I'm watching the news. News is over. I don't give a shit. I'll be damned if I have to sit through that mockery of superheroism. But wait a minute. The police still haven't found Boogeyman? Haven't uh, found him? Um, uh, hmm, well... He can still be in that dead ditch. By now, he can be getting eaten alive by ants, night night. Well, a fitting end for his kind, boo-boo. Thus ends another amazing adventure of Night Night. This has been a Nail Sin production. The Night Night theme song is performed by Alistair White and his lovely wife, Heather. Incidental music is courtesy of Kevin McLeod. All characters are performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Join us again, won't you?